Hey guys, it's Hie Kitty. I'm here again with another update. I am so, so sorry. I'm such a liar. I never updated with my pacifier tutorial. But it's so easy that I'll just show you what you, how to do it real quick. Um, actually, I won't show you. I'll just tell you why I'm shredding a little. Hold on. Where the heck did it go? Okay. To make this, there we go, you'll need an ornament ball. It comes clear. I got it from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. It comes in two parts. So what you do first is why it's in two parts. You paint it the colors you want. I used three different colors for mine. I painted it inside black and the outside I use a sponge brush to do it blue so that it gets the smoky effect. Second, you use Sculpty Clay to make the top. I use the bottom of a pop can to make the circle. And then before you bake it, you cut out the middle of it to fit the top of your ornament ball. Then you bake it, and then you paint it. Put the ball together, glue it, glue the circle on top, and put some string through it. And there you go. Sorry that I never updated. I know I'm a liar. But please don't get mad at me. It's my birthday. So please don't get mad at me. Seriously, it is my birthday, though. So happy birthday to me. Um, I also wanted to update with my wig. My Gumi wig. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, I got it from Causeworks again. I like their wigs. Um, it's a scruffy, a long scruffy in emerald green. It used to be long, but I cut it and flipped it out so it had the gummies effect. And it looks, doesn't that look good with the goggles and the headphones? Yes? No? I think it does. Anyways, um, what else? I also got my Seychelles wig. It's a little lighter than I expected, but what can I do? The dark brown and the black were sold out in the wig I wanted. So I bought the light wig. It'll do, but maybe I'll buy the darker wig later on. Um, one other thing that I want to show. Okay, I'm not really a good sewer, but I have made my first attempt on Gumi's vest. Now, I'm not a really good sewer. I did make my friend's chrome jacket last year and it actually turned out okay. I'm better at making jackets and stuff like this than skirts for some reason. See, I love it. It actually turned out really good except for the fact, if you can't tell, I sell the lapel down. Oops! And the bottom hems is kind of crapped up, but again, I'm an impatient person, so I actually didn't follow the pattern instructions. There's supposed to be a lining to it, and I kind of just cut everything out and then sewed it together without really looking at the instructions, but I probably am going to redo it and actually follow the construct uh, the instructions so it'll turn out a lot better um i am going to be making my friends uh italy cosplay look i got the fabric for it um I have to make her take her measurements and stuff like that it'll be my first time making pants so hopefully that'll turn out good um, but eventually if I keep getting better, maybe I'll do cosplay commissions. I don't know. We'll see about that. I'm also going to try to make her Link cosplay. But, um, I think I've touched on everything. Oh, one question. Um, if any of you guys are Hetelia fans, me and a couple of friends are going to be doing a panel at AFW, and so we were wondering what 
um, even if you're not going to AFW, I would really appreciate some answers. Um, what would you want to see at a Hetelia panel? Like, what kind of games, information, anything, anything at all? Because this is probably, I've done a fan fiction panel, and I'm kind of shy in person, actually, and it didn't turn out well. But I'm going to be doing this Hetelia uh, panel with a couple of my forum friends, and cosplay friends too because I met them yeah anyways continuing so we were just wondering I'm just trying to gather ideas for our panel so if I any idea would absolutely help and one last thing doesn't my hair look like it's finally growing out it's been six months and I think it's only grown three inches but that's okay okay I'll see you guys next time